I'm standing in front of is a 200 horse, 200 shaft horsepower, uh, standard ISO condition day from the ground, from the runway up to 8,000 feet. This is a clean sheet design, as I mentioned, started five and a half years ago. Uh -huh. uh, this idea came out of the head of our CEO and founder, Dave Lemmer. What he wanted to do was come up with a turbine engine that would give as close as the same economies as possible to a piston engine with the same horsepower. Okay. So what he what we landed on was, or he landed on, was put incorporating a heat exchanger, a recuperator, oh, into okay. the design. Yeah. Now this is not a new technology in land-based industrial applications on gas turbine engines. Nobody's done it in an, in an engine before, aircraft engine before. Okay. So that's why this is the size it is. There are a series of nickel alloy plates with micro channels and we're going to scavenge as much of the heat energy that normally would just be passed overboard yeah. and run it through this series of plates so that we can transfer as much of that heat as we can to the incoming air, which is expanding the gas, that sort of thing, instead of using fuel to get it all the way there. Huh. So as air, this is a reverse flow, very similar to a PT6 design. The air inlet is actually in the back of the engine. Okay. We go through a sting single stage turbine, 5.8 pounds per square inch pressure, pass it to through the recuperator. So this compressor brings the temperature of the inlet air from ambient to 200 degrees Celsius. Okay. Once we go through the recuperator, we get another 200 degrees Celsius. So instead of going from ambient to the 900 degree target that we're going for and having to do all of that with fuel, this compressor and this recuperator, we have not even introduced fuel yet. Yeah. So we're going from 400 to get to 900, right? So that's what this is about. And then we go into the combustor, introduce fuel, go into the combustor, get it to 900 degrees Celsius, pass 100 degrees to, to spin the compressor, right, the split shaft, uh, to spin this com compressor, and then pass the 800 that's left to the power turbine, which will produce 200 horsepower at the, at the front. This is a firewall, okay? So here's okay. our ambient air going in. We compress it single stage. Get raising the temperature, ambient temperature, 200 degrees. Then we go into the magic sauce can. Okay, that's our recuperator. Uh -huh. This is where we're gonna, gonna exchange as much of that heat as we can to get this temperature up before we start, with, before we introduce fuel and combust. So we bring it to 400 degrees. We go into the, we now introduce fuel, combust it, and get to 900, as I mentioned. Give back 100 to spin that compressor shaft, uh -huh. and then send the other, the le remaining 800 over to the power turbine. Okay. And through our gearbox, and that doesn't look like a planetary, but we have, a, ours is a planetary, planetary. gearbox. Okay. So uh, tell me, in comparison to a, uh, you know, a reciprocating gas engine, how much, uh, you know, less fuel are we gonna be burning? Uh, how much lighter is this package? 